Right now we're at Tokyo Station and we are about to hop on the express train to Nagano. Nagano. We're about 20 minutes early, so we do have a little buffer room and there's a ton of snack eateries and clothing shops here if you do get bored. Today we're taking a bullet train to Nagano. Let's go. Just arrived to the hotel right now it's 10 16 p.m we booked a really simple hotel right next to the jr station because it's only one night we're probably gonna have breakfast tomorrow and take off i don't think i've ever been to a hotel where they emphasize locking the door so there's that whatever that's supposed to mean probably a lot of tourists hodgepodge of people you never know what's gonna happen life's always exciting we're gonna keep the door locked Good morning, let's go check out the breakfast buffet. So this is a super convenient hotel since it's connected to a train station, but that access hallway probably closes at 9 p.m. And it does keep going up to the ski resort area. Oh, it does? Yeah, it's the oh, same so bus. This is the snow monkey. This is the snow this is the snow monkey area, I think. I thought this was a hotel area. Heading to the hotel. It's about 2 p.m. and we are making the trek up to Monkey Park. So people said it was about 15 minutes. Ironically, the colder and more treacherous the walk is, the more likely you're going to see more monkeys in the hot spring. So it looks like mud, but there's a lot of it that's ice. So time is now 2.25, so it took us about 25 minutes. Poke the monkey, feed him food, fly a drone, give him the drone remote. Welcome to Snow Monkey Park. Made it inside the park and there's two little areas. One is a hot spring onsen and the other one is the river stream, which is right over here. It is a little warmer from the steam coming from the river. So we're taking a quick little break to warm up. This afternoon, there's not so many monkeys around. They are free to roam wherever they want in the park. The recommendation from our hotel is that come right at 9 a.m. So 9 to 11 is when you'll see the most monkeys. So this is day one of Exploring Monkey Park and we're gonna return tomorrow morning. What? Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. It's like your waffle. Hmm. Welcome in. Tonight we are staying at a traditional Japanese hotel. Wait, wait, wait. Take your shoes off. 
Okay, come in. This is a little different than a Western hotel because as you'll notice, the floor is tatami. So this also doubles as a living room area. And then when we go to dinner, you're going to remove this table and the chairs and put the beds out. There's a hot water station in the room along with a traditional tea set. Teapot, teacups, and teas. Here's a little nook and I think this is to relax. So what I gather is this is a massager based on these pictures and you extend it. Here's a metal part and you, oh, this isn't that comfortable. <laughs> I don't think I'm buying this anytime soon. This feels like a bean bag. So if you listen to it, oh, <laughs> stop. There is also a towel here. So maybe this is bean bag, pillow, I don't know. Here's a house phone. There is a private onsen. In order to use it, you do have to make reservations ahead of time. It's open from 2 to 9 p.m. and you call the front desk to reserve it. Over here is another section. I guess you can just hang out by the painting and do some work. The chair here, oh, this is a lot lower than I'm used to. <laughs> Little snacks that came in the room and a guidebook to get yourself acquainted with the hotel. Here is a work desk. Take a step into the balcony. If you prefer more Western seating, then this is the place to hang out. I'll definitely be getting more work done here. Behind me is a storage area. This is where all the bedding is for sleeping tonight. And if we flip around, here's a closet with a safe. And this pot is filled with natural spring water. That the monkey sleep with. Yeah, essence of monkey. In this little box are cups and a mini fridge here. It's currently 5.46, so we do need to get ready for dinner, which leads us to this set. Each room comes with a set of traditional Japanese clothing that you can wear around the property, so dinner and then also the spa area. And this is called a yukata. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Each person gets a yukata to wear to dinner. Optional, of course, but why not? Great, you're ready for dinner, let's go. Starting off, we have the appetizers. So this one is a Chinese yam noodle, crab, scallop, and broth. It tastes really fresh and it's amazing. Hey, thank you. Stop. Oh, straw. Okay. I saw it. I saw it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to try some of the sashimi. Mm. That's super fresh. So this one is the simmering dish. Mm. You can tell that the soy milk skin was made today. So good. I'm usually not a fan of taro, but this is actually pretty good. This one's a savory cup custard, and it's one of the best custards I've had. Super soft. For the meat sukiyaki course, what you do is beat the egg, so the egg yolk is mixed in. Take a slice of beef and dip it into the egg. It's really good. Some of the best beef we've had. For dessert, we have apple compote, strawberry, and kiwi. And I'm really excited because apples are currently in season here. That's really good. Ready for the onsen? Yeah, onsen. Oh, it's so nice Oh yeah, they did turn down service. Oh, oh, these look like giant clouds. This looks a lot more comfortable than you made it sound. Oh, you actually have to click buttons on the wall. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you told me. Oh, this looks pretty comfortable. This looks like a giant cloud. Where did the tables go? That's what the storage area is. Let's see, let's see. So, do you think they flipped the table up there? Or did they move the table somewhere else? Yeah, the table is not in here. Yeah. No, wait, the table's right there. Where? Right there, on the floor. Oh, it's just right there. Oh, that's pretty convenient. Why even put up the bed every night then? I would just leave it like this. So you have more living room space. So initially I thought these were called kimonos, but the difference between the yukata and a kimono, according to Google, is that yukatas are made out of linen or cotton and kimonos are traditionally silk, but there can be exceptions. So it's not really a hard rule. Kimonos are for special occasions or more formal since it's made out of silk versus just cotton and linen. We booked a private onsen for after dinner and there's two of them, so make sure you make reservations ahead of time. Starting off, we have the locker room area where there's double vanity and amenities. Hair ties, hair combs, and hair dryer. This is the shower station where you can wash off before going into the onsen. 
There's an indoor area if you prefer to be indoors, and there's also an outside one. It is pretty chilly outside since you can't see the snow on the ground. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy the onsen, so talk to you later.